What's up, Reavers? Welcome back to the Crypt. This is going to be part 12 of my CD collection. We are almost halfway through. Starting off, I got one of the first metal head box CDs I ever got. This is Entropy with E3. Um, this is all right, like thrash sort of stuff. I'm not huge into it. It's not my favorite. Next up is some brutal death metal that I'm pretty sure I got through uh, one of the Gorehouse Productions boxes that I got uh, when I first heard about them before I even did YouTube. This is uh, Eternal Rest with the Picture of Hatred. Uh, this will all end in violence, and The Will of Death are probably my favorite songs. But, really good, brutal, death, slam sort of stuff. Next up, one of the first bands I ever actually, uh, reviewed on this channel, Exalted Sigil with Hell's Alchemist. And I actually still have a beanie, surprisingly. Um, I need to listen to this again, because this was really good, from what I remember. Next up, more fucking metalhead box stuff. This is some, like, blackened speed metal, kind of like Midnight. This is, uh, Excuse with Profits from the Occultic Cosmos. I haven't really spent a whole lot, but from what I remember, this was labeled, like, Occultic Blackened Speed Metal. Um, and I got that around the time that I'd seen the Midnight Creator Merciful Fate tour. Next up, a pretty classic album in its own right. Exhumed, gore metal. Everyone fucking knows to open the access. I fucking scream that. And then, um, probably my second favorite. It has my favorite artwork, and I actually got the shirt of this. This is To the Dead. Um, I remember seeing this, and this was kind of what made me go like, all right, I want a shirt of that, and I think I saw that they had, like, leftover tour shirts, where it had that, and then on the back it said, to the dead, so I picked one up. Next up is some classic thrash, this is Bonded by Blood by Exodus. Um, I don't think I need to say much, I think. Uh, I mean, you got Bond by Blood, Strike of the Beast, obviously. Uh, Lesson of Violence might be my favorite. This one I got at a uh, record show, and I don't really care for this album, but I have it just because fucking Exodus. Uh, this is Force of Habit. The first one I ever bought, and for a while this was my favorite, just because it's considered like their best. This is a uh, fabulous disaster. Uh, fucking toxic waltz. Everyone fucking knows. Uh, then we have my personal favorite. This is Temple Tempo of the Damned. Much prefer uh, Steve Souza over. Uh, Paul Bailoff, though, it depends on the day, because, like, a lot of times, like, I'll, I'll uh, switch my opinion on something, uh, but usually it's Tempo of the Damned. Next up, this is alright, uh, this is Shovel, sorry, hold on, Shovel-Headed Kill Machine, um, probably my second favorite, and then their most recent album, Dude, this was such a good fucking album for me, and, uh, I was even surprised when, uh, Chris at Thrash TV, uh, formerly of Jayhawk Films, said that this was his album of the year, Persona Non Grata. Um, this is a much shorter section, so, um, next up, 
only album from this band I own, and I need to get more because I love them. This is the Exploded with Fuck the System. And this album is as old as I am. 20 years old, at least. 2021, which I'm going to turn 21 this year, so. I mean, you got Fuck the System, uh, Fucking Liar, You're a Fucking Bastard, Lie to Me. Violent Society. There's even some bonus tracks like uh, Death Before Dishonor, Drive Me Insane, Pulling Us Down. Really good, like, hardcore punk band. Um, I actually like hardcore punk a lot. Um, if you can't tell by my fucking Discharge shirt that I wore in my, uh, what was, like, coming out for me video. Next up, I need to get more from this band because this... Oh, wait, no. Wrong one. This is another one I got through uh, Gore House. This is a two-song, like, EP by a band called Extremely Rotten called Zum Zumbif Zumbification of the Masses. Excuse me. Yeah, it just has two tracks. I haven't really spent that much time with it. So... Next up, I need to get more from this band because they are one of my favorite, like, atmospheric black metal bands. Um, I do like a lot of black metal. Um, I know a lot of people will be like, well, that's kind of weird because a lot of them don't like LGBTQ. There's still a lot of people in black metal are part of it, but to me, I don't care about ideologies. I just care about the fucking music. And I think a lot of people need to understand that you don't have to agree with someone to appreciate their music. Um, Falls of Raros with the uh, key to a vanishing future. Holy shit. This was good. Now, it's not as good as some of their earlier material. But... It definitely gets playtime, and I probably should put it on. Um, next up is some more atmospheric black metal, and oddly, I got this through the Metalhead box. And I remember watching one YX Hymns videos, and I forget what one it was, but he had this in the background, and I was like, I actually own that. This is a Feral Light Life Vapor, and this is like atmospheric black metal that's done in a different type of way i don't know if that's gonna show up I'm gonna barely i don't know if you can see that oh shit i need to clean my nail hmm. need to get that cleaned but yeah this is uh some good uh black metal Next up, I'm, okay, so this is my parents' friend's band, and, uh, I believe end of April, we're going to Ireland with them for, like, a week straight. Um, which is why I haven't really bought much, and, um. They play, like, traditional Irish music. They're out of, um, Ohio. Um, please support them. They do make really good music. The band is called Fintan, and this is Black and Tan. Um. This is just an uh, extra copy my dad had. And, uh, next up is Fintan Rising. Uh, A Thousand Miles or More. Yeah, it's probably the... They do have Tell Me Ma. But, um... Live, they've done a, uh version of the old dunk cow which is how i actually found that song and i actually really like that 
Next up is the first ever CD I got, I bought signed. I saw this band with Dragon Force with my friend, and um, I thought it was really good. I bought a shirt, and then I went like, all right, I want a fucking CD. And I was like, okay, what uh, what album would you suggest? And they suggested this one. This is Firewind with Immortals. Yeah, I have it in one of these things, and I mean, it's crinkly, but... Uh, Back on the Throne, Live and Die by the Sword, Wars of Ages, which is actually funny, because that's the uh, shirt I got, is a uh, helmet that said Wars of Ages. Uh, Rise from the fucking ashes, oh my god. Next up is a classic deathcore CD, but I want to get a different one, because I bought it on Amazon, and this is why I don't. Because it's a... <coughs> Fucking library one. And, um, yeah. It's like, yeah, I'm not, I'm not too happy. But this is a uh, fit for an autopsy with uh, the Sea of Tragic Beasts. No, why a fucking library of all places was even had this to begin with, I I don't know. Yeah, I can't even fucking put this thing in. But I do remember listening to this in the... 10th, 11th grade was around the time I heard that. I'm not a huge fit for an autopsy fan, but I do like that album. Next up is some disgusting death metal that I think I actually found through uh, Classic Metal uh, Lonnie's uh, Instagram. This is Flesh Gore with Domain of Death. I just kind of saw it. I was like, you know what? Why not? And, uh, I mean... I'm a sucker for death metal, man. Death metal, death core, really anything that has death in it. Wow. Next up is what I believe is Funeral Doom that I got through the Metalhead box. This is the Fetal Mind with the Grand Contraction. And apparently this comes with free download bonus tracks. I don't know. Uh, there's a link, but I'm not really gonna try that, but, um, yeah, I haven't really listened to that, but I do remember asking a friend, he's like, that's freaking funeral doom. Uh, next up is some good old, like, brutal death. This is just fetal juice with gluttony. And I believe I got this because it was, I don't know if it was because it was being uh, advertised or if it was because I saw it somewhere. It could have been both, but I mean, either way, really good death metal. Not your typical gore house stuff. Next up is some, like, raw as fuck black metal. This is Forbidden Tomb with... Temp... Temple... Templa Emporia? Something like that. Now, I'm not... Uber familiar with this? Oh, I'm sorry. It's Templum Emporium. But yeah, as you can see, just very rawish. I mean, it's from Morbid Chapel. 
Which I believe is where I got one of my earlier fucking thing. Next up, another black metal album that I got through the Metalhead box. This is Frigorous with Instill. This is like really good, like atmospheric sort of black metal. The last two. This one, I believe, is Black Metal. Yeah, it was Black Metal from uh, Transcendent Obscurity. This is Frozen Dawn with The Decline of the Enlightened Gods. And, um... Yeah, I still have, like, fucking... I still have, like, downloads in there and whatnot that I should probably plug that make sure I... Uh, and finally, last album of the part, this is... <sighs> this is Frozen Soul with the Crypt of Ice. I did like the new one, but I prefer this one over that. Um, really good stuff. Um, Texas Death Metal is really fucking good, and I probably wouldn't have believed you considering this is icy death metal, and usually Texas Death Metal just has, like, a certain feel where it feels very heated. Um, that said, uh, thank you all for watching, thank you for subscribing, as always, keep it grim.